Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Fadullah. And in the previous lecture, we have studied about the zeros and singularities of a complex function. And now we have to discuss types of singularities. So let us start from the isolated singularity. First of all, we have to write the definition. Isolated singularity. We say that a complex number, a complex number Z naught is called an isolated isolated singular point or isolated singularity of the complex function f of z if f of z is not analytic It z not, but f of z is analytic in a punctured in a punctured disk. Zero is less than z minus z not. This is less than R. So from the definition you can see that the given function must be analytic at any other point near to Z0. But of course it is not analytic at the point Z0. So it means that the function is analytic in the neighborhood of Z0. That is why if we replace this statement but some other, by some other statement like this one I will write that there exist there exist an open disk an open disk let us denote the open disk by B of Z naught comma R whose center is that point Z naught and radius is R. So there exists an open disk B of Z naught comma R such that such that such that F of Z is analytic F of Z is analytic on B of Z naught comma R set minus the point Z naught. So it means that if I only remove that point Z naught, then my function f of Z is analytic in the whole disk. And now let us see an example. Let us consider this function f of z is equal to e power z divided by z minus iota. Now you can see that this function is not analytic at the point z is equal to iota. If you differentiate the function and put z is equal to iota, you will see that it is undefined or even you can see that the function is undefined. So it is not differentiable. In other words, it is not analytic at z naught. But if you put any point, any other point near to iota, for example, if I put z is equal to iota minus 0 0.001 iota, then it is analytic. If I put any other point z is equal to iota plus 0, 0.0 iota, then it is analytic. Now isolated singularity has three types, a removable singularity, essential singularity 
and poles. Singularities are classified based on the Lorentz series. From my previous classes, we know that the Lorentz series of a function f of z has two parts. The first part is called analytic and the second one is principal part of the Let us write the definition of a removable singularity. Removable singularity. If all the coefficients b1 comma b2 comma to so on are zero then z0 is called a removable singular point singular point in other words there will be no principal part in the Lorentz series of that function let us explain this by an example we have a function f of z equal to sine z divided by z you can see that at z is equal to 0 this function is not defined even not differentiable so it is not analytic at the point z is equal to 0 now to find the type of the singularity of this function i have to expand this function into the Lorentz series like this one f of z is equal to 1 over z and now from the Taylor series we know that sin z is equal to z minus z q divided by 3 factorial z5 divided by 5 factorial and up to so on if i multiply this 1 over z i will get that this is 1 minus z square divided by 3 factorial plus z4 divided by 5 factorial and up to so on and you can see that in this function we have no principal part there is no term in the principal part so that's why this type of singularity is a removable singularity it is called a removable singularity because we can remove this we can redefine this function and we can obtain another function which must be analytic throughout the, the region. So let us see. I have to define a function f of z given by 1 f z is equal to 0 and sin z by z f z is not equal to 0. And you can see that there is no singularity for this new function. One more thing which you have to remember that in case we have the removable singularity, if you take the limit of that function, that must exist. If I take limit z approaches to 0, f of z, you will see that the limit to define the essential singularity, we say that if an infinite number of b n's are non-zero, 
then z not is called an essential singular point in other word we can say that if there are infinite number of terms in the principal part of the Lorentz series then that type of singularity is called the essential singularity let us explain this by an example I have a function f of z which is equal to e power 1 over z and we can see that at z is equal to 0 this function is not analytic it is not defined it is not differentiable and hence it is not analytic to find the type of the singularity we have to expand this function into the Lorentz series like this one f of z is equal to we have to find the series of e power z so we can see 1 plus 1 over z plus 1 over z square into 2 factorial and plus up to so on and now you can see that in the principal part of this series we have infinite number of terms so this singularity for this function is an essential singularity to define pole we said that if a finite number of b ends are non zero are non zero then then z naught is called a pole of the function f of z if m is the highest integer such that such that b m divided by z minus z naught power m is non zero then z naught is called a pole of order m of the function f of z so you can see that if there are finite numbers i mean if we stop here like bm divided by z minus z naught power m so now there are finite number of terms in the principal part of a Lorentz series and in this case we will say that f of z has a pole z is equal to z naught of order m let us explain this by an example we take a function f of z which is equal to cos z divided by z square and you can see that at z is equal to 0 this function is not analytic to find the type of the singularity I have to expand this function in the large series like f of z is equal to 1 over z square and I have to 
obtain the Lorentz series expansion of cos z, which is equal to 1 minus z square by 2 factorial and minus up to so on. If I multiply this inside, I will get 1 over z square. This is minus 1 over 2 factorial plus z square divided by 4 factorial and minus up to so on. So you can see that there is only one term in the principal part of this series. So we can say that z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 2. Now let us see the summary. First of all, we have to represent the function f of z into the Lorentz series. And then, if all terms in the principal part are zero, this is a removable singularity. If infinite number of terms in the principal part are non-zero, this is essential singularity. If finite number of terms in the principal part are non-zero, this is called a pole. So till the next lecture, Allah Hafiz, Assalamu Alaikum.